تھرٹین ہنڈریڈ آورز پاکستان اسٹینڈرڈ ٹائم السلام علیکم دس از ریڈیو پاکستان دا نیوز ریڈ بائی عبد الرافع سہیل فرسٹ دا ہیڈ لائنس پریزیڈنٹ ہیز انڈر اسکور دا نیڈ ٹو پروموٹ ٹیکس کلچر ان دا کنٹری ٹو اسٹرینتھن دا اکانمی منسٹر فار پلاننگ سیز گورنمنٹ از فوکسنگ آن ریکنسٹرکشن اینڈ ریبلیٹیشن فیز ان فلڈ ہٹ ایریاز Canada has conferred a Gaidner International Award to eminent Pakistani healthcare professional Dr. Zulfiqar Bhutta for his services in child and maternal health. Egypt has stressed for reaching political settlement over Russia-Ukraine conflict and tackling developments in Libya, Yemen and Syria. And now the news in detail. President Dr. Arif Alvi has underscored the need to promote tax culture to strengthen the economy of the country. Addressing a seminar regarding awareness amongst taxpayers at Governor's House in Lahore today, he said the tax collection is very important to run the government properly. He said that the society cannot progress in which women do not take part actively. The President stressed the need to, take, uh, to, take, to address women harassment issue. Minister for Planning and Development, Esan Iqbal, says the government is focusing on relief and rehabilitation work in flood-affected areas. Talking to a private television channel, he said the government is utilizing all available resources for reconstruction and rehabilitation phase in flood-hit areas. Esan Iqbal said PTI Chairman Imran Khan is doing politics on non-issues and trying to make the process appointment of next army chief controversial. He said Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif will appoint a new army chief on merit and professional basis following the procedures as per the constitution. Minister for Information and Broadcasting Mariam Aurangzeb has said that PTI Chief Imran Khan made compromise on national interests for his personal political interests. In a statement, she said that time for displaying the dirty game by Imran Khan has ended. The minister said Imran Khan, who is a foreign agent, made a mockery of the country and the entire nation. She said the PTI chief abused opponents, ran dirty campaigns against martyrs and prompted a revolt against national institutions. Mariam Aurangzeb said Imran Khan showcased the spectacles for the past four years, which have now been exposed. Castigating PTI chairman, the minister said four years of PTI rule was full of inefficiency, incompetence and lies. Ulema and religious scholars have appreciated the government's decision to withdraw appeal challenging decision of federal Sharia court on abolition of interest. Observing the Thanksgiving Day over the decision, they assured the government of all-out support in this noble cause. The ulema thanked the government, particularly Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif and Finance Minister Ishaq Dar for taking such a bold step to get rid of interest-based system from the financial institutions of the country. Pakistan High Commissioner to Canada, Zaheer A. Janjua, has hailed the conferral of Canada's annual Gaidner International Award on eminent Pakistani healthcare professional Dr. Zulfikar Bhutta. According to the details, the award was given to Dr. Zulfikar Bhutta for his development and evalu- evaluation of evidence-based interventions in child and maternal health for marginalized people. populations. In a statement, Pakistan's High Commissioner Zaheer Janjua congratulated Dr. Zulfikar Bhutta for winning the award, calling it an exceptional achievement and a testament to dedication and devotion. Dr. Zulfikar Bhutta is currently Professor at Department of Pediatrics at Nutritional Sciences and Public Health in University of Toronto. Egyptian President Abdul Fattah el-Sisi has stressed for reaching political settlements over Russia-Ukraine conflict and tackling developments in Libya, Yemen and Syria. He expressed these views while talking to his US counterpart Joe Biden on the sidelines of the 27th session of the Conference of Parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change at Sharm el-Sheikh. According to a statement issued by the Egyptian presidency, the two leaders also pledged to strengthen their strategic partnership in various fields of cooperation. The final of ICC T20 Cricket World Cup will be played between Pakistan and England in Melbourne tomorrow. The match will start at 1 p.m. Pakistan Standard Time. Pakistan has qualified for the ICC T20 World Cup final for the third time. Pakistan finished runner-up in 2007 and won the cup in 2009. Radio Pakistan will broadcast live commentary of the match over its medium wave network across the country. And that is all for now. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radiopakistan.com.